Okay, crafters, I promise no more talking like a rabbit uh, and no more scaring children, okay? <laughs> so uh, here we go. So what started this craft off was I saw these this carrot jump rope at the Dollar Tree. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, I could make a stalagmite slagtite pillar out of this, hmm. So what I did was I uh, grabbed these and then I got some dowels. And these dowels are 12 inches long and 3 16 of an inch wide. And to start, I just popped the jump rope part right off the carrots, okay? Then I took the carrot and opened up the end with an X-Acto knife. Be very careful with this, you know, especially these sharp instruments. Just uh, twisted it until I got a hole that the dowel could pass through, okay? Then I put the dowel through uh, and then put it through the other carrot. So I got them facing each other, the bottoms of the carrots facing each other, and the dowels to the top of the carrot, okay? So now I wanted to have some embellishment on this. So what I did is I got these, uh, I have these icicles I got at Christmas and I was gonna use these uh, to embellish, okay? And then I wanted some weight on the bottom to hold this up. So I got a couple washers. One is a two inch washer and the other one is an inch and a quarter washer. And I figured this would be enough weight to help hold this up. And so I glued the two washers together. Then what I did is I got a piece of aluminum foil and glued that on the uh, two washers with the hot glue. Now be very careful because the aluminum foil will conduct the heat from the hot glue, so don't burn yourself. And once I got that on, I just uh, uh, you know, closed up any e loose edges or anything on it with the hot glue and uh, made sure it was securely glued to the base. Then I started adding glue to the two carrots. So I added glue between on the stick between the two carrots. Just drag the hot glue gun between the two. Uh, you want to get a natural kind of rock formation look. And then what I did was I took the hot glue gun and dragged it along the carrot. So I'd squirt some hot glue the length of the carrot and then drag it up and down. And that gave it uh, a more random look instead of just a smooth like look like the carrot, right? It gave it a more and more stone look, okay? So once that was done, I glued uh, the first carrot to the base, the washer base. And that's plenty of weight to hold this thing up, all right? So now those icicles I got, I wanted to have some extra stalactites and stalagmites hanging from the, the base and the uh, top. So I did is I cut them off with a wire cutter at various lengths, okay, so they don't all look the same length. And then I glued a few to the base uh, of the first carrot with the washers, okay. <clears throat> I cut out a piece of cardboard and then glued on, hot glued on the foil onto the cardboard. So I glued it on one side and then crumpled it up and glued it on the next one. If there are any loose foil edges or anything like that, you can use the hot glue to glue those down. Don't feel, don't, don't uh, worry about putting hot glue on the foil. It works great. So I covered up, you know, I put some more hot glue on the uh, foil itself because, uh, you know, foil doesn't take paint very well. So the, the more hot glue you add to it, the better. I didn't totally cover it with hot glue, but I added enough to, to keep it nice and secure. Okay. So now I glued the top carrot to that uh, cavern piece and then glued the uh, icicles coming down. So those will be nice, some nice uh, stalactites, right? So here's the whole thing. Uh, I got the top piece, the bigger piece there, and then the bottom piece is the washer piece. And you see I got the stalactites and stalagmites and the carrot and all that. And it looks pretty goofy right now, but when we paint this, it's going to make a huge, awesome transformation. So I painted it and I just spray painted it flat black. But here's something else you can do. I also spray painted it a primer, just a gray primer. And I'm also going to make an ice cavern one. So this will be really cool. So we'll have two different types. So let's hit the table and I'll show you how I painted these. All right, we're off. Here we are, uh, painted uh, flat black spray paint. I've got my uh, gray craft acrylic paint. Gonna, it's pretty watered down and just painting that pillar up. 
and I got a couple other colors, my burnt uh, sienna, and I have a really light tan also. It's almost white, and I'm trying to mimic those kind of mineral deposits that fall down and form, make these uh, pillars. And here I am finishing up the pillar. Let's get some nice color variation on there. And uh, looking good, looking great. We'll let that dry. Now I got this pearl here, and this will give a nice pearlescence to those kind of mineral deposits, right? that make up this thing. So I'm not going to cover the whole thing with it, but kind of the areas where it's lightest, I'll put some of this uh, pearlescent. Gives a really nice kind of effect to this. So just paint the top there and a lot towards the middle where they meet. So looking really good. I really like that effect. Really interesting. And uh, There we go. Nice. Okay, now here's our ice pillar, and I'm going to use a sponge and put uh, some white on here. And uh, remember, I spray painted this uh, flat, uh, or I spray painted this uh, primer instead of black. There we go, we got it all painted up. Now, you I don't have the icicles on there yet. Okay, I'm going to use this metallic blue, uh, very watered down, like a wash, right? And I'm going to cover this. And uh, it gives a really nice kind of icy blue look, right? as well as a nice sheen. So here's the icicles that I used. I put these on my other pillar I put these on early, right? But this time I'm gonna cut these like I did before and then put them on after I paint it up, okay? So now I'm gonna start putting these on. And we get that translucent, you know, they keep their translucency, we don't overpaint them. So I like that. And then you can just blend them right in with the glue gun. It blends right into the ice. Looks really good. So really nice effect and really easy to do. Okay, now I'm going to use this glitter glue like I've been using on a lot of my ice projects. And it really gives a nice sheen and sparkle to these ice uh, creations. And there we go. Looking great. So what we'll do now, uh, after I paint this or put all this uh, glue on here, is we'll hit the table and see what these really cool pillars look like. Hey, all glad you can make the party. Let's go in and check out that stalagmite stalactite pillar Scotty made. All right, let's go. So we entered the cave. Thank you, Roderick. We enter the cave, and uh, you know these are a lot of other crafts I've done. Uh, you know you can see here, and uh, as we get to the central cave, uh, we can see Roderick sitting there waiting for us. Hey, Roderick, how's it going? Oh, great, damn, Scotty. Check out this big pillar. All right, here we go. So here it is, and there's the pillar in play. I think that is really cool. It really gives the the cavern a sense of height. So if you had something particularly that could fly in here, that would be really effective to kind of give your players an idea of how tall the cavern is. Now let's take a look at it. So there we go. I think that really came out nice. Those carrots just so totally transformed. The washers give it plenty of weight to stand it up. And those, uh, those uh, mineral deposits look great with that uh, floor, uh, pearlescent uh, paint. So there you go, real easy to do a pillar. And uh, we'll put that back in place. Then we'll go to our ice cavern and check out the ice pillar. Now we travel to the far north in our ice and cave, and you've seen me do many of these projects in other videos. And as we follow the cave along, it goes up to the central chamber where Roderick is waiting for us. And uh, we have our big uh, ice pillar in here. And it looks really great, really uh, like the other one gives a, a nice definition of how high that uh, large chamber is. So we have our, uh, you know, our weights on the bottom and uh, just that detail. I really like the icicles. They're translucent. You know, instead of painting them, we just uh, glued them on after we, we painted the project. So I really like that effect. And thinks this, I think it's great. And I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. And uh, have fun. Go forth and craft.